Hey guys! So today I have a super cool announcement from Keymove and Diaria. Um, this keyboard was featured in one of my other videos. This is the Keymove Snow Fox 60% mechanical keyboard. Um, but today Keymove sent me some pudding keycaps. So today, as a beginner, I'm going to be showing you guys um, how I, for the first time, changed the keycaps on the um, Keymove Snow Fox. So we're just going to take um, all the keycaps out of the box. This is what they look like. They come in order so it's really easy to just take them off and put them on. Um, so we're going to start with kind of a before. So this is what the keycaps look like before. Um, they're solid all the way through um, but the RGB lights still look pretty cool. Um, but we're going to go ahead and unplug that and then I'm going to start uh, taking off the keycaps um, from the keyboard. So while you watch me um, take off each individual keycap, um, I just wanted to let you guys know that um, Diaria is actually having some Black Friday deals that are super, super valuable. Um, like I have been saying throughout my partnership with them, um, their gaming products are like super nice quality for um, an affordable price. And as a beginner who knows basically nothing about um, keyboards and all this good stuff, uh, they've been- I've had an amazing experience. Um, so now I am just putting the new keycaps onto the keyboard and I'm all finished. Um, it also comes with these other keys, but, um, the 60% keyboard doesn't need those. So now for the big reveal. So here I am just going through the different modes of the RGB lights. Um, honestly, it looks so stunning and the new keycaps make it look so much cooler. Um, so yeah, um, if you guys want to check out these keyboards or these keycaps or anything, um, oh, they even have mice, like gaming mice, um, on their website. Um, again, Black Friday sale, 20% off of all the area, um, products, so definitely check those out. Link is in my description box. Hey guys, if you watch my second channel, and it's- I don't know actually if this video is going to be posted yet or not, but if you watch my second channel, if you don't, you should go check it out. Um, it's called Sammy Jammy 8- it's Sammy Jammy 2.0. Um, anyways, you might probably already know that I know- I, d I, I am aware that this shirt does not look good with this background, but it's, it's my laundry day today, so I, this is the only good shirt that I have. So don't come at me, please. Also, to the people, it's the same like, it's the same like, like five or six people that keep commenting about how much they hate my chipped nail polish on my nails. It's actually, I literally have dermatillomania and it's really bad on my thumbs. So, but you know what? Just for you, just specifically for you, I, I, I took off all the nail polish. Right after this video, I'm gonna paint it back on. So, I hope, I hope that you guys are happy. Anyways. Hi there, um, do you have an appointment with us today? No? Okay, that's perfectly fine. I um, just want to know, um, are you here for a piercing or a tattoo? Piercing, okay, cool. Um, ears, face, belly button. Okay, ears, perfect. Um, do you know specifically where you want it? Oh, second low piercing, okay. Yes, we can definitely do that. So you already have your first done on both sides? Okay, are we doing it today on both sides? Yeah, okay. Um, can I get your first and last name, please? Okay, um, are you over the age of 18? Okay. Can you tell me your date of birth? Alright, cool. Um, so before we get started, you are gonna, um, go ahead and pick out of earring that you want. Um, so, I'm 
for the low piercings. Um, it's not too restricting. Um, it's a pretty, like, low risk um, piercing. So, uh, we have a couple different types of earrings that you can choose from. Um, first we've got, like, this simple stud. This one's just with a little, um, what do you call this? A little gem. Um, and then we have a little, um, X and or a turkey track. Um, I have this gold little three star. This one probably looks better, um, up top, uh, as a cartilage piercing. Um, but I guess it could work, um. Probably on this side. It could work um, horizontal as well. Um, and then I have two um, hoops. These ones are really small. This one's more like a masculine one. Um, a lot of boys, actually, aka my brother, he just has one. And it's this one. I have this one in um, silver and um, blue as well. And then I have this little gold hoop. This one's a snap-on. These are both snap-on. Um, but obviously they go through your ear. So yeah, I have this one in, um, black and silver as well. Um, and then we can also do, I have a, I have to put a, um, what's it called? A little, like, I don't know, earring hook through this one, but we can also do this one. It just might tug on your ear a little bit because it is, you know, more uh, weight than the other ones. Um, but honestly, I think this one could work as well. Um, so yeah, um, did any of those look like, um, it might be something you like? Okay, yeah, for sure. You just want to go simple. This one is definitely the cheapest one, so we can do this one for sure. Okay, you want this for both sides, or do you want kind of different ones? Both sides. Okay, cool. I can totally do that. So first, what we're going to do is I'm going to put on some gloves. When was the last time we got a piercing? Okay. Uh, yeah, so it's been a good while. Yeah, so I'm just gonna remind you of, like, the aftercare procedures. So, basically, what you're gonna wanna do is I'll give you a bag of salt. And what you're gonna do is every morning and night, or just wherever you can work it in, two times a day, <clears throat> um, you're going to get- you're gonna get some, uh, warm water. And you're going to mix just a little pinch of that salt in there so get it nice and so the water is like foggy um but there's no like little you can't see the salt in there um then you're just gonna dip your ear in it and hold for i'd say probably like two to three minutes at a time yeah so just do that twice a day um that's gonna reduce um the possibility of infection um and then you also um are gonna want to stay out of like large bodies of still water so like lakes um pools ocean should be fine um after two weeks oh, you're gonna want to stay out of those large bodies of still water for three months which i know it can be hard but it is winter time so it should be a little a little bit more um plausible um then yeah i'm gonna give you the earrings that i have today I have a bit longer of a um like the part that goes through your ear, it's going to be a bit longer than probably what you're used to, so it might be a little bit uncomfortable, but it's going to, um, it, uh, it's going to help with the swelling so that your actual ear is not uncomfortable. It might be uncomfortable if your ear, like, presses against the back of your head, um, but it's going to help majorly with the swelling. So you don't want to put on your ear and back super tight because that's going to, uh, it might irritate it a little bit. Um, but after three months, you can come back and we'll give you a new earring. Um, we can do the same type or you can choose a different one, um, for free. We'll just swap it out with one with a, uh, shorter, uh, back, okay? 
Um, so do you have any questions before we begin? Just don't want to go through with it. Okay, cool. So what I'm going to do first is... Actually, first, I'm going to just remove your earring um, that you have in right now. Um, just because it makes it easier to make the second holes even. Okay. Um, so now I'm going to make sure to sterilize and sanitize. So I think what I'm going to do is... First, I'm just going to use a Q-tip. And, um, go ahead and turn to the side for me, please. Thank you. Okay, I'm just gonna clean this off. And the other side, turn your head. Thank you. Okay. Perfect. It might burn a little bit, a little bit, um, but we just want to make sure that your ear is very clean. Um, so I think now... I'm going to do one more round of sterilization. Okay, good. Just stay still for me. This one shouldn't burn. The first time that you got your ears pierced, did you use a piercing gun or a piercing needle? Oh god, okay. We're actually going to be using a piercing needle today just because it reduces the chances of like shattering any cartilage or anything like that. Um, but it is in your lobe, so it's probably not a big deal either way. Um, but you know, just to be safe. Better safe than sorry. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to... use this red marker to um just do a little dot okay can you show me like um here's a mirror can you show me where exactly on your ears do you want it like right next to it or like a little bit up you know kind of show me you can look in the mirror to show me on your okay yeah i can definitely do that for you um okay just try to stay very still for side. Okay. Look in the mirror. Actually, hold on. Let me read this one. in like a perfect spot. So, now, ready to begin. So I'm going to 
I'm using this. Let me get your stud ready. Okay, so when I do the piercing, I'm going to count down backwards from three, so I'm just going to go three, two, one. And then <clears throat> you might feel a little bit of a sharp um, pain, but that uh, will be it. And then we'll move on to the other ear, okay? So I'm going to latch this on. on. Okay, that went <clears throat> very smoothly in, which is a good sign. Go ahead and take a look at that. Perfect. Okay, I think it, it suits you very well. Okay. Okay. Alright, we got one more. <clears throat> Honestly, I think it looks really good. <clears throat> Let me show you the completed product. Yeah. Okay, awesome. I'm so glad that you like it. Um, <clears throat> let me just wipe off the marker and any blood. Okay. It looks like you're good to go. I will, um, let me get you a bag of salt and then I will send you on your way. Um, again, do you have any last minute questions or anything? No? Okay, cool. Perfect. Then, um, yeah, let me just get you that bag of salt and you'll be out of here.